Hey, I'm Marcus with 24 Rooter. Today, I gotta show you something. We got a hell of an issue. Uh, the people that just moved into this house about a week ago, just bought the home. This is the reason why we push so hard to have your sewer line inspected before you buy a home. We have a hell of a mess. And we still, to this point, really don't know exactly what on earth somebody who lived here before did. But this isn't right. Take note. Well, Welcome to day number two. And it's raining, of course. The customer came out overnight and cut out a little bit more of the, uh, or dug up a little bit more around the pipe. And so um, today what I'm gonna do is hopefully get this line cleared out. So the problem is this pipe here was off of a back shop that is no longer being used and so I need to actually uh, well let me show you what I need to do this is what plumbing's all about right okay that's what I needed to do I find out which way this pipe is going just so that I can <laughs> get the machine in there. We've been trying uh, several times over and over with our big sewer machine to, to run it from two different cleanouts, but when it got straight to this homemade garbage here, it just, you know, the machine just wouldn't get through all this crap. So, so now we can go on to the next step. Just another day in the life. <laughs> okay so we weathered the storm we we're able to get the machine set up and now we can finally get this uh sewer cleared for the people um and then we can always come back and fix this and put in a proper sewer clean out and get it all put back together so we'll go ahead and do that Oh, I forgot to mention. Tampons. We've already went out once to the city and got kind of stuck there um, and pulled back tampons. So by now you would think everybody would know you're not supposed to put those down your sewer pipe. But this is a warning. Okay, folks. These are flushable baby wipes. Put in a toilet, down into the sewer. Any more questions? Okay, so we got the line cleared out. Uh, again, we pulled out a bunch of tampons. Not a, I've, I've seen more in my time, but enough to plug it up. So don't put tampons or flushable wipes in your sewer or this will happen. Anyway, so I have him in there right now just flushing. So anytime after we get it clear, we like to have the customer go in or a helper or anybody go in there and flush about 20 times just to really clean everything out. So that's what he's doing now. Plus we're doing kind of a little bit of a hear test at the same time. So I can kind of hear, maybe you guys can hear up what the... That's the sound we want. Well, hey guys, thanks for sticking in and watch it to the end. This is Jess, the customer. He's with Artisan Construction. Everybody knows Artisan 
artisan construction. So um, anyway, they're kind of laid off right now, and they had just bought a home here, what, about a week ago? Yeah, pretty about much. About a week ago. Only to discover a few days later that the sewer line was completely all plugged up. And so they called us, and, you know, and so we came to the rescue. And as you've been watching along, you know, we ran into a heck of a mess. And that's why we always suggest if you're getting ready to buy a brand new home or any new home, um, have your sewer inspected. That's something we do. We have a sewer camera that we can uh, put down your sewer just to inspect it, make sure it's in good shape or, you know, roughly good shape at least. Um, anyway, so now Jess knows, of course, that he oh. should too. So, uh, well, hey, man, we finally got it though, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's been, been hell over the yeah. course of a few days, but we got it, man, right? This coronavirus, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. But, yeah, <laughs> thanks for your help. Oh, you're very welcome. Hey, be, be sure to like and subscribe down below, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. See you next time. You want to reshoot it? Nope. Good? Yep.